Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Simon. And I am a rail enthusiast, loves going up and down the country, riding on the trains, filming and taking photos of them as well. These videos of my railway journeys can differ sometimes as they can go to plan or will go bad. Welcome to Simon Trains Railway Journeys. Hello everyone, welcome to a new year, a new decade of Siren Trains. It is the year 2020, so to my followers that are watching this, hope you had a happy new year and hopefully you have an exciting 2020. Now starting on our journey today, we'll be visiting two new stations which I've never visited before, which are Goostry and the last station of the day, Chelford. So the sole purpose of visiting these two stations is because I've never visited them before. Yesterday I was um, at home after I finished work and I was just wondering where could I go. So I had a look around and I thought, you know what, I've never been to Goostry, never been to Chelford before. I passed them a few times. Let's go to these two stations. So basically we're just filming units at Goostry and Chelford today, which turns out to be quite... Um, there's some surprises in store, not just class 319s for Northern. So, we're going to be starting at Rushi Trev Valley. Even though I'm filming this at Stafford later on in the afternoon, we're going to be starting the morning at Rushi Trev Valley. So, we started our journey today at Rushi Trev Valley. Now, in about less than five minutes' time, our train to crew will arrive. But before I do that first, I'll give you a little quick history of Rushi Trev Valley Railway Station. Now it was open on, on the 15th of September 1847. Now when, before the line was opened, um, a company, the Tre Valley Railway, actually started building a line. But before it was opened, the London and Birmingham Railway absorbed it, and then the London North Western Railway absorbed that. Now the line from Caddock was added by the Caddock Minimal Railway in 1859. But the line closed between Warsaw and Rouge Tre Valley in January 1965 but it reopened in stages first to Hensford in 1989 then to Rushi Town in 1997 and it wasn't until the 25th of May 1998 when it was added to Rushi Trev Valley between 1965 and 1998 local stopping services stopped at this station between which ran from Stafford to Rugby and then from 1987 to Coventry. In 2008, London Midlands started operating London Euston to cruise service, which stopped here, which still exists today. But the original route back there went by Stoke on Trent and today goes direct to Crewe. And also, Queen Elizabeth II actually been to this station when she named Class 67 locomotive 67029 to mark a diamond wedding anniversary with Prince Philip. Now my train is actually arriving, this is the 1024 to Crew, and we're going to be jumping on this train to Crew.
now at Cruise Station. We are 33 miles of 58 chains into the journey today. Now the only problem with crew is, is that when I got here about just after 10 to 11, the train to Chelford and Goostery is at 48. So XX48. So I have to wait in crew for a bit to wait for the 11.48 to the station because they only have hourly service. So we're going to get this Northern unit arriving in and then take a journey to Goose Street. This train is formed of 11 coaches. My first hourly filming station of the day, Goose Street. Now, I'll be honest with you, I've never ever been to this station before. This is the first time I ever stepped foot on this platform at Goose Street. Bougie had passed through here a lot on a northern, uh, well, Virgin Trade at the time, which is now Vanity West Coast. And I think it even passed through here on a Reva Trade Wales or Transport for Wales. But I never ever got off this station till today. Now we are 10 miles of 35 chains from crew. That's how long the journey took from crew to here. The line was built by the Manchester Birmingham Railway on the 10th of August 1842. Now when the line was built there was actually no station here at Goose Street because the London Northwestern Railway had a station here on the 1st September 1891. On the 1st of May 2012, a Friends group was formed, known as the Friends of Goose Tree Station. Now, Goose Tree Station only has an hourly service, so the next train on the board there is 1303 to Manchester Piccadilly. So I'm going to be filming some trains passing through here for a bit, jumping on that train, and then we'll go three minutes down the line to Chelford.
behind you right here is two objects that are from the original Goose Street station. This right here is an oil lamp and that right there is a keystone from a road bridge which used to be here. But they had to rebuild it in the late 50s for electrification. Now, the keystone of the original road bridge and oil lamp, which are right behind me, are from the Manchester Bergen Line, which opened in 1841, which I mentioned earlier, by the chief engineer, George Watson Buck. But the oil lamp is actually, was from 1891 when the station opens, because the line actually opened first for the railway station. Anyway, we've got two more trains to catch, and then I'll be on the 3003, which actually is going to be a class 331, to Chelford. I've also just noticed this quickly, I'll give this a quick mention, but you can see that white blob just there, that's the Novell Telescope. Three miles, 62 chains from Goose Street lies Chelford Station. Now this is the last station of the day that I'm filming an hourly service through here. 
which you've got the usual traffic through here plus the class 66 on a freight train we also got a class 150 DMU passing through here now that 150 is actually on the Liverpool Live Street to cruise service which was 2A97 and it's back here at 1408 which is by train to Aldi Edge now I'll explain that in a minute now Chelford Station is 14 and a quarter miles from Crewe I looked on Wikipedia but it did not have an opening date to this station but I'm guessing it was opened along with the line in 1842 if anyone knows when Chelford Station was open you can feel free to leave a comment down below now this station was rebuilt in the 1960s by William Robert Headley but um, on the 22nd of December 1894 there was a violent strong wind that happened on that day now this violent strong wind actually turned a freight train over onto its side but unfortunately during the time or moments later there was a oncoming express from London to Manchester which was passing through here and it collided with the freight wagons and it killed about 14 people and injured 48 passengers so I mentioned all the edge because I got my ticket to all the edge now I'm leaving here at 1408 to get to all the edge now I've got a semi connection there and I'm getting a train from all the edge back to crew otherwise I'll be waiting here for an hour and a half for the train that I'm going to catch at Aldi Edge at half past two. Because um don't really want to hang around here too long, I just want the hour here and then move on. So that's why I'm going to Aldi Edge. Anyway, there's a couple more trains before my train. Somebody's left their tractor at Chelford Station. Was that class 37?
down Drew Station, you can hear down the bottom the sound of HST because the network rail measure trains in the platform nicknamed the Fly Banana. So we're going to film this out. And it's, I think it's going to Derby. Now, now I could have easily got the train back from Crew Direct to Rushi Trev Valley, but I didn't want to do that. I actually wanted to try a fancy West Coast, and to be honest, it felt kind of weird because it was still a Virgin Trains on the inside. It just felt weird 
for my first journey on the Fancy West Coast. As I mentioned earlier, because I grew up with Virgin Trains in a previous blog in the past, and it just felt weird being on a Pentadino run by another operator. But anyway, we're catching the uh, 1555 back to Rouge de Valley, which is the 1535 off through. And then after that, I'm getting a train back to Rouge Town. So, let's see if we get a few passing Pentadinos on the fast line first. Yeah? Film it. Yeah, it was. We're now at Rougey Town and to be honest we are ending our journey here today. We have been um, into Cheshire, Dungoostry and Chelford and to be honest they've both been good to be honest. There's been nothing bad about today happened. There was only one northern train cancellation and that was uh, the 11.17, the half an hour before my train to Goostry. I boarded about 11.48 yeah, 11.48 to Manchester Piccadilly so we did get a variety of units today from 
Class 390 Pendolinos, to Northern Class 319s, Northern Class 331s, and then even surprisingly, we got a Northern Class 150 DMU. Now, DMUs do operate sometimes between Crewe and Manchester by uh, Wilslow, but it's not very often that happens. I think I remember one time I did see a Class 142 Pacer crew going to Manchester Piccadilly. But um, anyway, so it has been a good day at these two stations. Can't fault nothing wrong. It's been a brilliant day today. And that's it. My next adventure, I don't know when it's going to be yet. But uh, well, I should have one uploaded next Sunday by then. So thank you for watching this one. The social media accounts are Simon Trains YouTube FB page on Facebook, Simon Trains on Twitter, Simon Trains on Instagram. Hopefully you enjoyed this blog and we'll catch you for the next one, which will be next Sunday of course.